We knew this year would be different. We knew there would be challenges. Together, we adapted. And College of DuPage had our backs. By keeping us safe. While providing us opportunities to continue our education and succeed. Learning remotely. Or in hybrid classes. Getting involved with virtual activities. Or simply staying connected to each other. It is so good to see all of you guys. We support each other and the college supports us. This year has certainly been unique. A year of hard work, dedication, and optimism. Qualities that help us learn and grow. These experiences, while not traditional, will serve us well and will not be forgotten. In our careers. Or the next step in our education. Always looking forward. And never losing sight of our goals. This year has been one of doing whatever it takes. We're not waiting for the new normal. We're redefining it every day by pursuing our dreams. We're so glad you're with us tonight, enjoying the ceremony and celebrating these achievements. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Oh, say can you see early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Hello, I am Dr. Brian Caputo, President of College of DuPage. On behalf of myself, the administration, the faculty, the staff, the Board of Trustees, and the entire college community, I welcome you to our 54th annual commencement. Graduating from college is a milestone of which you should be proud. Doing so during a worldwide pandemic is a true achievement because you faced many challenges that others who came before you did not. This was not the college experience you expected when you first started at COD. Instead of being on campus and enjoying the in-person interaction with friends, faculty, and staff, you were in a family room, basement, or bedroom that doubled as a classroom. Instead of hanging out in student lounges, you were at home by yourself or with your family, which often included helping others with their online instruction. Hybrid courses brought some of you to campus for necessary lab work and a chance to learn with your classmates. This also meant screenings, social distancing, and wearing masks. For others, 
your phones and social media became your lifeline to stay connected. Faced with these challenges, you did not let them defeat you. Instead, you did just the opposite. Under extreme conditions, you emerged victorious. I am amazed and humbled by your drive to succeed and your ingenuity in doing so. You found ways to get involved, whether through student clubs, online study groups, or virtual activities. You sought out online resources through the Learning Commons and the library for help with your coursework. You dealt with the emotional challenge of COVID-19 and made your way through it. I know you are looking forward to marking this occasion with a walk across our stage to receive your diploma. However, do not dwell on what you missed because of the pandemic. Instead, focus on what you accomplished. The tenacity you have shown in reaching this point and the skills you acquired to get here will always be with you. In fact, I would even say that this experience has equipped you to meet future challenges with fortitude, grace, and the ability to succeed. Please know that I am proud of each one of you. You believed in yourself and, as a result, you are prepared for a better life in a post-pandemic world. On behalf of everyone at College of DuPage, congratulations to all of our graduates. You showed us your best in the face of unparalleled adversity. Now, take the time to celebrate your accomplishments. We would like to introduce the College of DuPage Board of Trustees, followed by a message of congratulations from our chairman. Trustee Florence Appel. Trustee Annette Corrigan. Trustee Nick Howard. Trustee Daniel Markwell. Student Trustee Nayla Sabahat. Board Secretary Heidi Holen. Board Vice Chairman Christine Fenney. Board Chairman Maureen Dunn. Good evening. My name is Maureen Dunn, and I'm the chair of the College of DuPage Board of Trustees. COD has a rich tradition of providing a high quality education that's both affordable and accessible. As a graduate of the College of DuPage myself, I fully benefited from the dedication of the instructors and the staff who helped me prepare for the next phase of my educational journey. However, I never had to pursue my studies during a worldwide pandemic. The Board of Trustees appreciates the many challenges that COVID-19 presented to you, our graduates, and your families. One of our top priorities was to ensure the safety of our students, faculty, and staff while delivering the needed instruction to help you achieve your academic goals. The worldwide pandemic for some of you to alter your plans as you balance education with employment and family situations that were continually evolving. Unfortunately, many of you face obstacles that included job loss, financial instability, and the lack of the required technology to learn remotely. Your college was ready to help you address these needs. Administration, faculty, and staff, as well as the College of DuPage Foundation and our many community partners Work together to ease your struggles and to help you stay focused. Graduates, you have so impressed us as to how well you handled this past year. You remain committed to your education in the face of a pandemic. You demonstrated the courage and the tenacity to keep moving forward and to achieve your goals. You found new ways of staying connected and even showed us how it could be done. As the world moves beyond the pandemic, this is the time to dream big. Pursue what you love, dare to step out of your comfort zone. Some of the world's greatest ideas and innovations were created during the most challenging of times. And finally, remember that College of DuPage is always here for you. While your journey started with us, we will continue to fully support you as you begin the next phase of your pursuits. 
We hope very much that you return for additional learning opportunities, cultural experiences, or just to drop in and say hello. On behalf of the College of DuPage Board of Trustees, congratulations to the class of 2021. This is a mile from counseling, and to each and every one of you who is graduating this year, congratulations. What an achievement. You have faced all the challenges and fulfilled the requirements, and you're here, you made it. Enjoy your day, congratulations. Congratulations. I'm Connie Canada Howard in the theater department, and I'm here because you're graduating. You're talented and resilient and creative and dedicated. This year's been hard, but you've risen to all of those challenges and look what you accomplished. We're so proud of you and we can't wait to see your next chapter. Keep in touch and congratulations. Class of 2021, congratulations, you did it. You are now officially a chaparral. You've been faking it for the last few years, but now you're there. Listen, congratulations, this is Peter James from the Business Management and Marketing Department. Excited for you all and wish you the best of luck as you move forward. Take care. I'm Dr. Dennis Amato from Counseling. To all the graduates, take a long, deep breath and soak up this moment because you made it despite so many challenges in this past year. So enjoy this moment because it is yours. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates 2021. This is Sally Fairbank, Professor of Paralegal Studies at College of DuPage. You've worked hard to achieve your goal and you've reached it. Please know that wherever you go, wherever you are, you will always be part of our COD family and we'll always be proud of you. Congratulations again. Greetings, COD Class of 2021. I'm Lee Kesselman of the Music Faculty at COD and it's been such a pleasure having you here. I want to wish you all the best in your futures. Fare thee well. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. Hey, class of 2021, congratulations. This is Jason Snart, your COD English Department Chair of Literature, Creative Writing, and Film. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Shannon Toller, Professor of Business Management and Marketing. Congratulations to the class of 2021. While the rest of us have been muddling through, you went after this and got this done. This bodes well for your future endeavors. Congratulations. Hello, my name is David Goldberg. I am a professor of political science and social behavioral sciences in the library division and the president of the faculty senate. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the 2021 outstanding faculty members. The selection process for these awards began with nominations from students and faculty and culminated with the selection being made by a committee comprised of faculty, students, administrators, and a member of the college's Board of Trustees. From the Social Behavioral Sciences in the Library Division, Scott Campbell, Professor of Geography. From the Nursing and Health Sciences Division, Barbara Coe, Associate Professor of Respiratory Care. From Counseling, Advising, and Transfer Services, Dennis Imano, Counselor. From the Arts, Communication, and Hospitality Division, Jude Geiger, Professor of Speech Communication. From the Continuing Education and Public Services Division, Joe Gillis, Assistant Professor of Fire Science. From the Liberal Arts Division, Mirta Pagnucci, Professor of Languages. From the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Division, Alyssa Pasquale, Associate Professor of Engineering. From the Business and Applied Technology Division, 
Steve Santello, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science. The college-wide outstanding part-time faculty member is Crystal Conrad, American Sign Language Instructor from the Liberal Arts Division. And the college-wide outstanding full-time faculty member is Jason Snark, Professor of English from the Liberal Arts Division. Congratulations to all of the outstanding faculty members. I would also like to thank the entire faculty for their fine work in preparing our students to meet their educational goals. Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Curtis Chavez, Provost of College of DuPage. Many of our graduates have distinguished themselves academically during their studies at College of DuPage. At this time, I would like to highlight the various categories in which students are being recognized this year for their outstanding academic achievements. While it is difficult to list all of the students' names virtually, I invite you to go to cod.edu slash commencement and click on the Honors Recognition link. There you will find the names of our students who have worked so hard to receive these distinctions. The college recognizes honor students in the following categories. Students graduating with honors, having a cumulative grade point average between 3.2 and 3.6. Students graduating with high honors, having attained a cumulative grade point average between 3.6 and 3.99. And students graduating with highest honors, having completed at least 60 credit hours at College of DuPage with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. The college also recognizes participants in our Honor Scholars program. Our Honor Scholars have completed 22 hours of Honors courses and an Honors seminar while attaining a grade point average of at least 3.5. Finally, we recognize the various members of the honor societies at the college. Congratulations to all graduates who have earned academic distinction in your time with us. We are truly proud of your accomplishments. Congratulations, graduates. We are both proud and impressed with your accomplishments this year. And to our student leaders, thank you for going above and beyond to have a positive impact on our campus and really strengthening our sense of community during this very trying year. Good luck as you continue your leadership journeys. And always remember, CHAPS Unite. Congratulations, graduates. It's Bob from the Budget Office, and you guys did it. This past year has proven to be a challenging one, and yet you persevered. And you all should be so proud. Hats off to you, Class of 2021. Congratulations to the Class of 2021. You know, I work at the MAC. My name is Diana Martinez, and in the theater business, we always say, if you can adapt, improvise, and perform under any circumstances, that's your key to success. And Chaparral's, you performed under some of the most difficult circumstances. We are so proud of you. Congratulations to all of you and all the best wishes for an exciting future. Hello class of 2021 and congratulations. I would like to officially welcome you to the Chaparral Alumni Network, which is 160,000 strong that are here to support you. We want to stay connected with you. And we want to recognize your accomplishments. Stay tuned for future activities and events on social, and we look forward to having you back on campus. Congratulations again. 
Good evening. My name is Wendy Parks and I serve as Vice President of Marketing and Communications. And on behalf of the entire division, we say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your positive comments. We couldn't have done it without you. So we salute you tonight, your night. Thank you so much for all that you do. And we wish you the very best in the near future. Congratulations, College of DuPage, Class of 2021. I'm Chris Fay from our Business and Applied Technology Division, and I wanna honor you for pursuing your goals in spite of some really challenging circumstances. The future's looking bright. Hello, my name is Alexander de Guzman, and I'm the president of the Student District Council. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the outstanding graduates for the class of 2021. Annually, two students graduating with honors are recognized by the College of DuPage Foundation as the outstanding graduates. A committee of faculty, staff, and administrators makes the final selection based upon a number of criteria. The student must have a minimum cumulative GPA of at least 3.8 on a four-point scale. They also must demonstrate leadership in college and or community activities, work toward their professional and or educational goals, and involvement in academic or cultural enrichment outside the classroom. Before introducing the outstanding graduates for this year, I would like to recognize all of the outstanding graduate finalists. Luke Buchanan of Aurora. Laura Donna Imsek of Carroll Street. Leslie Morgan of Carroll Street. Ryan Richatelli of Naperville. Alexandria Schweichel of Lombard. Serenity Subramnian of Bloomingdale. And Sophia Walensiak of Naperville. They are all exceedingly accomplished students, and according to the committee, the final decision was very difficult to make. So, congratulations to you all. The two students selected to represent the class of 2021 as the outstanding graduates are Bellum Oshigera Duran of Wooddale and Zachary Ron of Lyle. First, we will hear from Bellum, followed by Zachary. Towards the end of 2020, my family and I began to pack and clear up the apartment we had resided in for almost seven years. But not only that, we were leaving Bensonville, the town where I had spent the last 14 years of my life. Sure, our new place was in Wooddale, only 10 minutes away from our old apartment. But I'm a theater kid, and to me, this marked the end of an era. And as we prepared for our new journey, we did a Marie Kondo, going through all our stuff, getting rid of all that did not bring joy. Something easier said than done for a family who held on to receipts from the early 2000s. Anytime I filled up a box labeled throw away, my dad would go through it and salvage half of the things in there. I'm pretty sure he still has boxes of stuff he saved stowed away in the trunk of his minivan. Unlike my parents, I am not a hoarder and easily throw away everything. In the end, all my personal belongings fit into one extra large cardboard box. I was proud. My parents were sad. However, as we uncovered old suitcases covered in dust, I discovered a small case with memories from my time in elementary school that I could not so easily get rid of. From grammatically incorrect paragraphs to poorly drawn family members, the projects inside the case were proof of how far I had come. One object that stood out in particular was a medal that said Math Wizard. As a kid, my favorite subject in school was math. I remember being in the advanced math program in third grade, which only worked to feed my Math Wizard ego. 
But while I greatly appreciated the validation, I genuinely enjoyed math for being math. I liked the numbers, the rules, the structure. Most of all, I loved that it was a language spoken and understood by all. It did not matter that I was not fluent in English because the numbers were the same in any language. I would struggle with word problems, but I learned that it was easier once I translated the word problem into an equation. It was a slow process at first, but it did not stop me from loving math. For me, math was the subject that brought comfort, that reminded me that I wasn't dumb. I have always been someone that enjoys learning, the type of kid that would wake her mom up reminding her that it was time for school. But as I transitioned from Spanish classes to English, school began to lose its splendor. It would hurt having to leave the advanced math classroom as the other students transitioned to advanced English classroom. As the other kids would huddle around the reading carpet, I would pack my work and go back to the regular class. I envied them. I wanted to read the books they read, do the projects they did, but I could barely speak the language, let alone read or write it. But while I felt alienated, I never felt discouraged. I took on the challenge to prove that I was worthy of being in that room. As fifth grade came, I still did not score high enough to be placed in the advanced English program, but my teachers had faith in me and noted the growth I had made thus far. In my last year of elementary school, I was allowed to enter the advanced English program. I learned my vocabulary words from a golden Greek book, Caesar's vocab. I wrote and read poems in a dimmed down classroom for poetry month, but most of all, I got to stay in the classroom with the other kids. I still struggled a bit compared to my classmates, but I was in that room with them, pushing through. When I graduated from high school in 2019, I earned the English Department Award. Mrs. Jackson noted how my classroom contributions were those of an insightful English major or even a second English teacher in the room. While to some, the award may have seemed meaningless, to me, it meant the world. I instantly thought of the little four-year-old who arrived in this country and got scared of the white kid speaking in an alien language, of the girl who struggled to get a perfect score on her vocab quizzes and whose essays would always come back filled with red marks, the girl who watched the Peter Pan movie with subtitles on, stopping the movie every five seconds to read the captions and understand what was being said, of the little girl who tried so hard to prove her worth to this country. At five years old, I would have never pictured myself giving a speech to thousands in the same strange tongue that I feared so much. Pero aquí estoy, contando mi historia y siguiendo echándole ganas para cumplir el sueño de los inmigrantes. Le doy gracias a mis padres por siempre estar a mi lado, apoyándome y echándome porras. But here I am, telling you my story and giving my all to achieve the American dream, the dream of immigrants. I give thanks to my parents for always being by my side and supporting me and cheering me on. I also want to thank the teachers from my K-12 journey who helped me along the way. Mrs. Walsh, Mrs. Benjamin, Mrs. Sparts, Mrs. Jerjakis, Mr. Welsh, Mrs. Jackson, Mrs. Williams, Mr. Baker, Mr. Weiss. For the people at COD who provided me with the resources needed to succeed inside and outside the classroom. Madame Julie Peters, Dr. Stephen Accardi, Dr. Lisa Higgins, Miss Elizabeth Gomez de la Casa. To my friends that make me think and help me grow, and to my siblings, Kevin and Giselle. The math medal I found in the case was a reminder of my journey, a journey that began when I was in elementary school and continues today. But I am no longer trying to prove my worth to others. My goal now is to make that little girl proud, to show her that her hard work was not done in vain, 
to show that the dreams she had were too small because she is capable of accomplishing so much more. I've come a long way and reached so many milestones. And as some chapters in my life come to an end, I am excited to turn the page and begin a new one. We are here today commemorating another milestone in our lives. If there's one thing I learned while being a student at the College of DuPage is that the journey to get here was different for all of us. We come from different cultures, different towns, different schools, different races. But despite our differences, we can all share the feeling of overcoming adversity. Many of us have faced countless obstacles, big and small, but still pushed through. However, our journey doesn't end here. As we embark on our next trip, what will you choose to take with you? What will you throw away? Our diploma from College of DuPage is one thing that you can for sure take with you wherever your next destination is. Think back on your time here and find that dusty suitcase and see how much you have grown so far. And be proud. I know that as I pack up and prepare for my future endeavors, I will take with me the wisdom of my professors and the memories with my classmates and theater friends. And wherever you go, whether it's 10 minutes away or 10 hours away, be sure of the fact that you will be okay and that you will find your way. This has been an incredible journey for me, as I'm sure it has been for all of you. If someone had told me years ago that I would be graduating from college, I would not have believed them. Now, 13 years after high school and finishing one of the most significant accomplishments in my life so far, I give my humble thanks to my parents who have stood by me and provided me with endless support, my girlfriend Maggie who has put up with long nights and countless highs and lows, and a special thanks to the teachers and faculty of the Horticulture Department, Frank Balestri, Amy Hull, and Marty Bartz, who motivated me to be the best that I can be. Growing up, I struggled a lot in school, and after graduating high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I began working minimum wage jobs with no real direction in my life. While working at a job where I was miserable, a family friend had recommended applying for a seasonal position at a local garden center. The first time I walked into the greenhouse, the sights and smells of thousands of plants in bloom was an awe-inspiring moment. I completely fell in love with plants, caring for them, learning about them, and providing people with a little bit of living happiness. As I worked there over the next few years, my thirst for knowledge about plants grew and grew, and eventually I was told about the horticulture program here at the college. I met with the program director, Brian Clement, who inspired and encouraged me to advance my education in the industry, and I enrolled shortly after. This is something I never saw myself doing. And yet here I am, giving a commencement speech. As I graduate and begin to plan for my future, I cannot help but reflect on the experiences I've had during my time here. I completed an internship that took me to another state where I worked alongside professional plant growers in one of North America's largest and most sophisticated greenhouse production facilities an opportunity that was afforded to me by College of DuPage. I participated in a national competition to prove my knowledge of plants and to learn from experts in the field, which is held annually as a part of the accreditation for the college's horticulture program. I was even given the opportunity to present a lecture on the medicinal value of plants to the horticulture club at the college on two separate occasions. I've become more passionate and knowledgeable about a field that I love and have learned there are career opportunities that I didn't know existed. I've pushed myself to learn about the amazing world of plants and how truly humans could not have survived without them. Plants provide us with food, medicine, the air we breathe, and have evolved right alongside us. Like the plants we see and use every day, we should continue to evolve, to adapt and become resilient. However, as college graduates, we face a lot of uncertainties right now. And if you are unsure of where you want your life to take you, just wait. Explore your options. Experience new things. When you find what you're passionate about, the opportunities for advancement will present themselves. So whether you are young, old, or middle-aged, 
planning on attending a four-year university, or entering the workforce, we have achieved something great. We all came here to better ourselves, and we've done just that. Though this chapter has come to an end, our journey is far from over. We all can continue to learn every day and get a better understanding of ourselves, each other, and the world around us. We've reached an important milestone in our lives and should stand tall in this triumph. Be proud of yourself and what you've accomplished. I know I am, and proud not only of myself, but of all of you as well. In the words of the famous American author, Lyman Frank Baum, no thief, however skillful, can rob one of knowledge. And that is why knowledge is the best and safest treasure to acquire. The education we have attained during our time here at College of DuPage cannot be taken away or diminished by anyone. It has helped us create a greater future and a better quality of life for ourselves and those around us. Even as our nation and the world struggled through the COVID pandemic over the past year or so, we continued on, believing in a more excellent time to come. We all had to adapt to a different way of life in a world of uncertainty, and we have succeeded and pushed farther and harder than we thought we would have to. It is now our moment and our responsibility to shape the world in our image. We must use the knowledge we have attained to ensure the health and well-being of our generation, the generations to come, and the planet we rely on. The knowledge we have gained here is ours, but is not something we should keep only for ourselves. Spread the seeds of knowledge and wisdom. Enlighten one another, for this is how we all achieve greatness. Margaret Fuller, a women's rights activist and American journalist once said, if you have knowledge, let others light their candles in it. These words are more important than ever today. Our knowledge will bring more light into the world and the more knowledge we pass on to others, the brighter all our futures will be. Be open to the wisdom and knowledge that others can share with you. For education is not age dependent, but an ongoing experience during our time on this earth. We are fortunate the College of DuPage has provided these opportunities for us. So let us go out into the world and plant the seeds for a better tomorrow, and let our achievements be an inspiration for others. Thank you for all you have accomplished and the great things we will do. Hey, COD, what's going on? Congratulations. I am so proud of this class in particular. Why is that? Well, life didn't throw you just one or two or three, but like four curveballs. And what did you guys do? You knocked them out of the park consistently. Again, you guys overcame so much this year. You're going to have stories that no one else will have for the rest of our lives. Congratulations. This class is going to do really good things. I know it because again, you faced adversity and you overcame. Wishing you guys nothing but the best. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. Keep up the good work. Remember, continue to work hard and never quit. Keep moving forward no matter how hard it gets. Ask for help when needed. And make sure you take some time for yourself as well. Once again, congratulations. Hello, COD class of 2021. My name is Angela and I graduated in 2011. I know firsthand that you have received the most fantastic foundation at College of DuPage, and I want to wish you the best of luck, whatever your next steps may be. You're going to do great things. Hey grads, you should be so proud of all the hard work that you guys put in to get to where you are today. And just remember, there's only one thing between you and your goals, and that's hard work. So be sure to never stop grinding and to also lift everyone else up around you as well so you can all succeed in this new chapter of your life. Graduates, congratulations. You've worked really hard to get to the place you're at right now. You've spent countless hours at this point studying and practicing your craft, and now it all pays off. Having a degree from COD means more than you know right now, and it's gonna open amazing doors for you. So again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. Uh, this has been another incredibly challenging year, a year like any other, and you made it through and you graduated and you're on to greater, better things, just like the rest of the world, we're on to greater, better things. So congratulations, enjoy this moment, and we can't wait to see what great things you do. Hello, graduates. 
Just wanted to send along some congratulations and um, just really excited for all of you to get out there in the world and I know you're going to be great and sending all of the love and congrats to you. Yay. Congratulations. Graduating class 2021. COD, you've made it through a tough, tough year. But we need you now more than ever. So get out there, make the changes to the world that you want to see. Hey, Pat, it's time to go I have a few seconds here to impart some words of wisdom, so here goes. Uh, I just want to say that I'm a big believer in failure. Failure is your friend. So fail as often as humanly possible. Let yeses be your fuel and no's opportunities. If you do, you can help it succeed. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2021. Big day for you, exciting day. There's so much waiting for you. Any opportunity that comes your way, take it, grab it, chew it up, and then take any fears you have about that opportunity, throw them over your shoulder, get rid of them. Everything is out there for you. Take it from me. You never know when something fabulous is going to happen. I'm so proud to call you fellow alums. Remember, COD is always here for you. Go get it. Hello, 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 College of Dreams, class of 2021. This, this is an important step in your lives. It's a big moment. For some of you, this may be your greatest achievement yet. Yeah, I don't know, there might be a 10 year old in here who's graduating who like cured something, I don't know. But your road is not yet over. In fact, it has merely just begun. You can take everything you've learned from this fine institution and you can use all of that power and all of that knowledge for pure and absolute evil. You can choose to look at folks with your noses pointed high and you can throw your fancy education all in their faces, those who are less fortunate than you, or, or you can choose to be the light that this world so desperately needs the most. Smart and kind, that, not that, that's a, that is a human being right there. To be able to do both. Now more than ever, this world needs a little bit of kindness and a little bit of love. So no matter your political beliefs, no matter your social agenda or your, your, your social standing in life, there can never be a shortage of kind people. Being kind, man, it transcends everything. I'll give you some examples of how you can be kind. Instead of canceling folks, maybe you should try counseling them. Another example of being kind, if somebody says something ignorant or, let's say you hear something racist in earshot. Hmm? We all hate that. But maybe you should be kind enough to educate that person about the idiocy of their words. Maybe their foolishness comes from a place of ignorance. And then maybe that person can become an ally because of you. College DuPage has taught me a lot of things. It's where my career began. It's, it's, it's what informed me of all of my um, um, friendships and, and, and knowledge and wisdom and, 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 and relationships. And quite frankly, it's where I grew up. You know, I love my time there and I, and I hope you did too. Members of the class of 2021, it is time to confer your degrees and certificates. Dr. Curtis Chavez, on behalf of the faculty and administration of College of DuPage, I present to you the 2021 candidates for the awarding of the Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Applied Science degree, Associate in Engineering Science degree, Associate in Fine Arts degree, Associate in General Studies degree, Associate in Science degree, and Certificates of Completion. Dr. Curtis Chavez, would you declare these students as graduates of College of DuPage? Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of College of DuPage, I do hereby confer upon each of you the degree of 
Associate in Arts. Associate in Applied Science. Associate in Engineering Science. Associate in Fine Arts. Associate in General Studies. Associate in Science. Or the Certificate of Completion. With all of its rights and privileges and with the best wishes of the faculty, staff, administration, and trustees of College of DuPage. It is my pleasure to congratulate the graduates of the College of DuPage class of 2021. Please visit cod.edu slash commencement where you will find a searchable graduate database, all of the videos from this ceremony, stories about the outstanding graduates and finalists, and much more. Also, share your photos of commencement on social media. Whether you are celebrating with family and friends right now, or when you receive your diplomas by using hashtag CODgrad. I would like to thank our full and part-time faculty for their dedication to our students every day. I also want to thank the team that put together this year's virtual commencement. Graduates, I hope that you will continue to value the education you have received and the degree or certificate that you have earned at College of DuPage. I wish you the very best as you proceed down your chosen path. Monica Tarek Abdel Malik, Ikra M. Abdullah, Angeline Mariam Abbey, Epiphany Anya Adams, Mona Lena Adami, Crystal May Adokio. Shagaye Ofrazi, Fazia Ahmed, Mohammed Ahmed, Yusra Akun, Sana Akhtar, Murad Akram. Jacqueline Alanis. Monica J. Alanis. Kimberly Eileen Albright. Sadia M. Ali. Maria J. Almaraz. Rawa Majid Al Sadi. Christian Amaya Amna Anami James Patrick Anderson Megan Kathleen Androwski Ivan Anjum Danielle C. Antalies Joel D. I. Aprecio, Nayeli A. Aranda, Donald W. Armstrong, Juanita Arietta, Rihanna N. Atwood. Celeste Eileen Avila. Anthony J. Badway. Jesse Lee Bailey. Marco A. Balazario Garfias. Karen Diodelli Balderrama. 
Dorothy A. Banduski, Nora Shannon Banduski, Veronica Barcinas, Ashley Barker, Sarah Christine Barranco, Shania J. Barrett, Frank Beecham, Justin Bell, Khalid Mohammed Ben Tahir, Naima Benadir, Sarah Joy Benson, Mike Raymond Yukama, Eric J. Biscop, Sydney Black, Rachel Anida Bravo. Cynthia Briseño, Tyan Sky Brown Tribble, Simona Brugite, Ebra L. Brock, Anna B. Buck, Luke James Buchanan. Nodirakun Birkanova, Rachel Elizabeth Butler, Kelly S. Campbell, Anthony Tobias Campolatara, Gianna Luisa Casali, Jake Vincent Casata. Angelica Rose Castillo, Joy Cavelli, Namaya Sebastian Cedillo, Sabrina Centeno, Christian S. Chalchik, Katie Shammy. Kelong Chin, Lais Christine Siansi Stucky, Dim Lam Singh, Wendley Clouser, Elizabeth L. Cody Gonzalez, Angelica Coleman. James Rory Collins, Tamara Kelly Connolly, John Arnell Conready, Stella N. Kuhn, Rebecca Louise Cooper, Saul Corona. Veronica Correa, Nina Corrigan, Araceli J. Cortez, Morgan Gabriela Casillo, Nicole M. Cavelli, Shaquille Crisp. Alondra Cruz, Raymond T. Cruz, Daisy Cuevas, Claire Elizabeth Coran, Drake Anthony Decardo, Cooper Marcus Degg. Laura T. D'Amato, Kevin Matthew Danner, 
Helena P. Daza, Leslie Deanira de Lara Serna, Ninetta Margarita de Boni, Michael John de Vries, Julia de Marco, Anahi Diaz, Angelica Diaz, Zaini S. Diaz, Joshua V. Dijakoma, Darnisha Dismukes, Kyle Escher Dugan, Michael E. Drugan, Sarah S. Duncan, Perla Maria Dunlop, Cynthia Duran, Heidi Hanan Dwadari, Heather Marie Ehrman, Bianca Espinal, Juan Carlos Fabella, Abdurrahman Alo Fahi, Amber Vernice Farmby, Nicholas William Feltz, Jessica R. Fenton, Jaylene Yasmina Fernandez. Alex J. Fernbach, Dorian Erica Fields, Daniel S. Finnegan, Laura Furlitt, Laura Mary Fletcher, Darcy Ann Florick. Felicia Marie Flores, Jocelyn Flores, Maria del Rosario Flores, Martin Flores, Melody A. Flynn, Ariana A. Franklin. Kyle William Fulcher, Tiffany Denise Funches, Alexis Deniza Garcia, Christopher Garcia, Daniel Garcia, Montserrat Garcia. Desiree Ignacia Goblin, Tatiana D. Jeans, Lena Marie Gebhardt, Hannah Catherine Gehring, Lindsay Nicole Geese, Carolina Gil Reyes. Kelly Marie Glimko, Faten Goma, Angel M. Gomez, Vivian Gomez, Daisy M. Gomez Villagran, Jose A. Gonzalez. Michelle Paola Gonzalez, Miranda Olga Gonzalez, Yamalex Gonzalez, Tiana Goodwin, 
Brenda S. Gowdy, Samantha Rose Goff, Maria Magdalena Grabietz, Brianne Elizabeth Halfpenny, Rosarto Halili, Mia Harmon, Neda Harun, Tuba Harun, Diane Harrington, Terrain Andrew Houghton, Kimberly M. Havlick, Ariana Hernandez, Guadalupe Hernandez, Kevin A. Hernandez, Maria G. Hernandez, Michelle Hernandez, Yvonne Anayeli Hernandez, Janeth Hernandez Aguirre, Kevin Herrera, Thomas Mallory Hill, Yen H. Ho, Kylie Hodgden, Haley Hollier, Lindsay Holmes, Lisa V. Hughes, Eliana Wizar, Vanessa Hurtado, Hiba Hussein, Laura Dana N. Imrzek, Crystal Eniguez, Gabriela Enokaitis, Alana A. Jackson, Latoya N. Jackson, Cara Alexandra Jacobson, Veronica Janis, Dosha G. Jarecki, Cynthia Marie Jakosiak, Salea Jawaid, Dennis Jenkins, Erica Crystal Jenkins, Brendan Jimenez, Gregory Johnson Jr. Mitchell E. Jones, Rachel Abigail Joseph, Samantha Yvonne Juarez, Brandon Justice, Rachel Marie Kale, Mary A. Kaimowitz. Madeline A. Cass, Jillian Marie Keene, Dakota Joseph Kerr, Sierra Ketchum, Uzma Lukani Kalik, Cheyenne Kamizi. Farah Khan, Safula Khan, Maria F. Kibbe, John Stephen Kickball, Iana L. Kinnan, 
Caitlin Noel Kirk, Tisha Kitchen Miles, Hannah Joanne Klespitz, Kylie Nicole Knight, Dina Marie Knowles, Samantha Kabatich, Jennifer Nicole Comis, Eddie A. Coons, Robin Francis Kraft, Maya Crawl, Sabrina D. Kratz, Skyler A. Kruger, Cynthia Ann Krinicki, Sarah Marie Keeking, Edward Albi Kuznadi, Cameron T. Labidis, Gabriella Lacorte. Philip John Laricchia. Erica Lynn Larios. Virginia Lavoran. Rebecca Mary Lawler. Tanisha A. Laws. Josh D. Levitt, Hui H. Lee, David Lennart, Melanie Jung A. Lewis, Tina Marie Lazan, Kara N. Lichter, Susan Catherine Linkman, Jacqueline Ann Logan, April Nicole Loikutz, Cecilia Lopez, Lisa Marie Lopez, Mariana Renee Lopez. Maria Lopez, Odalis Emily Lopez, Kimberly Joy Lowe, Myra A. Lozano, Danielle N. Lobanski, Danielle Maria Luders. Lauren Devon Lucas, John Gabriel Luxa, James Wilbur Leiden, Jason William Mabry, Saumia Madusudan, Jade R. Maestas. Christian Anino Magbanwa, Omar Mansour, Humaira M. Mansouri, Tabasam Mosin Mansouri, Lauren A. Manu, Tiana Jade Maravia. Simon James Marinelli, Abby Nicole Mark, Christina E. Markovsky, I. C. Marquez, John Michael Marin, Rosanna Martinelli. 
Daniel Martinez. Felipe Martinez. Janelli Martinez. Matthew Michael Martica. Alexia C. Matthews. Jasmine Stefani Maya. Lucy Jane McCaffrey. Jessica F. McCormick. Brianna Elise McDade. Bobby McDonald. Shoaib Meshubshub. Brenda Medina. Corinne Medina. Mansi Rahul Mehta. Christy L. Meisner. Amanda Marie Melgar. Jasmine Meza. Max Jared McKaylee. Amber Kathleen Miller. Guadalupe Miranda Sanchez. Elise Marie Misasi Bath. Sarah Ellen Mitchell. Dasneem Mithawala. Zachary Tyler Melinda. Veronica Malinsky. Spencer James Monin. Amanda Christie Montano. Aaron Montoya. Leslie Michelle Morgan. Nicole D. Morin. Sashoni K. Morrison. Alan E. Moscosa. Ashley Moss Johnson. Tracy L. Mueller. Marquita Michelle Mullen. Kylie T. Munar. Milad Dea Munir. Evelyn Selena Munoz. Nuviana Yasmin Myrick. Nida Nusim. Danya Nasser. Hiba Naman. Jose D. Navarro. Umaid Nayab. Shirley K. Doria. Bianca May Neff. Juzel M. Negron. Nuria Naziri. Tiffany Hong Nguyen. V.T. Nguyen. Svetlana Nikolenko Nunes. Caitlin Marie Nordmeyer. Eduardo Ocampo. Jed Dalton O'Connor. James Aaron Frempong Odami. Gregory Michael Ogurkowitz. John Francis O'Malley. Carla Ortigas. 
Annabella de Jesus Ortiz. Marcy M. Ortiz. Belém Osugera Duran. Tanner Ray Ott. Anthony Jalen Outlaw. Maria Isabella Polomo. Erica Joanni Pardino. Maria Elena Pardoon. Stevie Blake Parker. Michaela Justine C. Pasqua. Dishil S. Patel. Rajat Kumar Patel. Shriya A. Patel. Adam C. Patterson. Michaela Ann Patterson. Tiffany Amber Payne. Emily Persino. Jasmine Perez Venegas. Jonathan M. Pisic. Jasmine N. Piacic. Jaquita Pitts. Danielle Denise Podgorski. Corey O. Pratt. Christina Marie Predke. David M. Promisul. Janice G. Pryor. Emily Hanna Polito. Adam Ashraf Raba. Noor A. Rashid. Zachary J. Ron. Samantha M. Ramirez. Gabriel Ramos. Melissa L. Ramos. Katie Elizabeth Randolph. Crystal Isabel Razo. Kyle Alexander Reed. Allison Helen Reinke. Viviana Reyes. Yusakel D. Reyes. Ryan D. Ricitelli. Sarah Naomi Rickert. Matthew R. Rios. Raymond Rivera. Khadija B. Rizwan. Sophia Rocha. Evelyn Rossio. Francisco J. Rossio. Guadalupe Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Nina Rodriguez. Rebecca Rodriguez. Rolando Rodriguez. Rosa Isela Rodriguez. Saul Rodriguez. 
Yaniz G. Rodriguez, Diana Romero, Maria Nancy Romero, Catherine Rosario, Camille Rose, Jessica Roswinkle, Teresa Ross, Brianna Melody Roy, Darlene K. Ruiz, Jacob Lorne Satoff, Mason Lynn Sagi, Ramprasad Sani, Zakira Salma, Sarah Rose Saveto, Megan M. Samalak, Irene Samson, Miguel San Miguel III, Alyssa May Sanalitro, Nareda Sarahi Sandoval, Isabel Christian Santana, Joshua Santarelli, Andrew J. Sassman, Lizeth Sacedo de Santiago, Taylor M. Savino, Tamia Sawyer, Bert Schaefer, Maria Anita Shippers, Erica C. Schauer, Joshua Sean Fajardo Schrum. Karen A. Schwartzbauer, Alexandria Rose Schweichel, Veronica P. Seabrooks, Aileen Sedano, Victoria R. Segabrook, Sakshi Sehdev. Azera Sharif, Alexander Shaki, Oliver Siafa, Ashley G. Salerio, Nidhi Singh, Kyra Janaira Singleton. Jaden P. Skeel, Lloyd J. Smedbrom, Stephanie Catherine Smelzer, Marta Snesco, Gabriel Solis, Nikolai Anatoly Sorokin. Stephanie Sostenas, Leslie Jaxiri Soto, Gabriel Sotomayor, Danielle Jennifer Spence, Ala Spritzma, Hannah Marie Steigelman. Martha Stempian, Irena E. Stoika, Ellen V. Stuckel, Serenity Venkata Subramanian, Jason Michael Suchinsky, Adam Joseph Sullivan, 
Wei Sun, Kelsey Sarah Sunberg, Holly E. Swinford, Derek M. Shikaki, Sylvia Tapia, Aracelia E. Tekpenakato, Cameron Terry, Anna E. Thielen, Namir Amir Thubani, Nikella Thompson, Elizabeth C. Tottaparam, Cynthia Rennell Timms, Drew Ellen Tobin, Alexandra Tukchik, Geneva Don Todd, Angela Tomasek, John David Trowbridge the Third, Kevin H. C. Jada T. Turner, Mohammed Sami Udin, Katrina Umana, Daniela Fernanda Uribe, Adelina Vaca, Jacqueline Valenzuela. Christina Valenzuela, Brooke Marie Vaultman, Tracy Danielle Vance, Araceli Vargas, Shreya Vesudevan, Maricela Vasquez. Myra Vasquez, Melissa Vasquez, Kimberly Vela, Hope Naomi Viveres, Elaine A. Victor, Pragati Vijaya Kumar. Claudia Itzel Bialba, Jordan Ann Von Hoff, Kenneth John Voitel, Joanna Valichek, Amy Nicole Walsh, Fiorella Warren. Gail Washington, Latiqua Mona Watkins, Alex Taylor Weinrace, Lauren McKenna Westra, Alicia K. Wiley, Leanna K. Wilkerson. Atlantis A. Williams, Joe Williams, Marianne Willing, Kayla Marie Wilson, Shantiera Dejane Wilson, Aubrey R. Witt. James R. Wood, Lisa Marie Woody, Michael Andrew Wolf, Sarah Renee Wynn, Bianca E. Yabro, Melissa A. Young. 
Damian Lee Savala. Pyong Lee Jung. Rhiannon Morgan Nicole Zelinsky. Azra Zelak. Katerina Zinnick. Chloe Renee Zuncourt. 